Non-linear pharmacokinetics is also known as dose-dependent pharmacokinetics. This video will help you to understand this mysterious process of drug pharmacokinetics. In most cases, at therapeutic doses, the change in the amount of drug in the body or the change in its plasma concentration due to absorption, distribution, binding, metabolism or excretion is directly proportional to its dose whether administered as a single dose or as multiple doses. In such situations, the rate processes are set to follow first order or linear kinetics and all semi-log plots of C versus T for different doses when corrected for dose administered are superimposable. This is called as principle of superposition. But in some instances, the rate process of a drug's absorption, distribution, metabolism, and elimination are dependent upon carrier or enzymes. These enzymes are substrate specific, have definite capacities, and susceptible to saturation at high drug concentration. In such cases, an essentially first order kinetics transform into a mixture of first order and zero order rate processes and the pharmacokinetic parameters change with the size of the administered dose. The pharmacokinetics of such drugs are said to be dose dependent. Other terms synonymous with it are mixed order, non-linear and capacity limited kinetics. Drugs exhibiting such a kinetic profile show variability in their pharmacologic response. Dear viewers, drugs that demonstrate saturation kinetics usually show the following characteristics. Number 1. Elimination of drug does not follow simple first order kinetics, that is, elimination kinetics are non-linear. Number 2. The elimination half-life changes as dose is increased. Usually, the elimination half-life increases with increased dose due to saturation of an enzyme system. Number three, the area under the curve is not proportional to the amount of bioavailable drug. Number four, the saturation of capacity-limited processes may be affected by other drugs that require the same enzyme or carrier-mediated system, that is, competition effects. Number five, the composition and ratio of the metabolites of a drug may be affected by a change in the dose. So, lastly, the examples of some drugs showing non-linear kinetics include phenytoin, warfarin, methotrexate, carbamazepine, and acetaminophen.